Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel dedicated to helping parents like you guide your children to greater interest and confidence in maths. If you have yet to subscribe to my channel, hit that subscribe button so that you do not miss another episode. I'm Benjamin and today I will be sharing the must-know time management tips to score for PSLE Math Paper 1. Has your child been struggling to improve their AL grade by doing better in their problem sums? Yes, improving in Paper 2, the problem sums section will definitely help. However, most parents tend to underestimate the importance of doing well in Paper 1. This leads to a wasteful loss of marks that are easy to get compared to problem sums. Getting extra marks by managing paper one well is actually the easiest way to get an immediate improvement in results without studying any harder. And all it takes is to practice time management in paper one. In this video, we will talk about what happens when time is poorly managed. Two, important things to know about paper one. Three, how much time to spend on each section. Four, important habits to have for proper time management. And five, how to check to prevent careless mistakes. Before we talk about how to manage time, let's first understand how poor time management leads to poor results. Number one, rushing through at the end of the paper because they spent too much time in the earlier questions. Very often, these questions that they rush through are the same ones that they would have gotten correct if they had enough time. Number two, not having enough time to check the optical answer sheet or the OAS for the multiple choice section. Later in this video, I will also share how to check this to avoid blind spots. But before I begin, allow me to briefly introduce myself. I'm Benjamin, author of 18 math guidebooks found in all major bookshops, including Popular. I'm also the personal tutor to more than 2,500 students over the last 20 years. Many of my students have gone from borderline to top students using the same methods that I'm about to share with you to achieve those results. So here's how to manage Paper 1. First, let's take a look at the structure of Paper 1. Paper 1 carries a total of 45 marks to be completed in 60 minutes. Note that this includes the time that they will need to check their answers. Calculators are not allowed for paper 1. There are two sections, A and B. Section A is the MCQ section, which has 15 questions and carries 20 months. Section B is the short answer question and there are 15 questions that carries 25 months. It is important to know that the last five questions of each section are the hardest and will take more time to complete. Why is this important? Students get overconfident when they finish the earlier easy questions so quickly. They tend to think that they are ahead of time and so they slow down too much. Knowing that the questions behind are harder and will take more time will prevent this from happening. So exactly how much time should they be spending on each section? Here is a rough guide to help them know if they are on track. How much time to spend? Section A. Question 1 to question 10, 10 minutes. Question 11 to 15, 10 minutes. Now we move to section B. Question 16 to 20, 5 minutes. Question 21 to 30, 
20 minutes. So that makes a total of 45 minutes. That leaves 15 minutes for them to complete the harder questions that they skipped earlier and the most important thing, checking their answers. I will talk about important habits that will help them manage their time. Important habits. Move on to the next question if they are not able to start solving the question in 30 seconds. Number two, make a clear marking so that it is easy to return to the question after all questions are attempted. Number three, leave nothing blank. Answer every question, even if it is a wild guess, especially for the MCQ. Any answer provided would have a one in four chance of being correct. Leaving a question blank would mean a definite zero. So never leave anything blank. So let's now talk about checking, starting with the MCQ Optical Answer Sheet or the OAS. Note that the OAS is marked by your machine. This means that one wrongly shaded answer can affect all the answers that come after it. Unlike school exam papers, students do not get to check their papers after PSLE marking and so they will not be able to let their teachers know that they made an error in their shading. For example, shading the answer for question 4 wrongly into the answer space for question 5 will mean that all the questions following it will be shaded in the wrong line and will automatically be marked wrong by the machine. This will obviously be a very costly mistake. So how do we avoid this? After shading the chosen answer into the OAS, first match the answers in the even numbered questions to the answers in the OAS. Then match the answers in the odd numbered questions to the answers in the OAS. After checking the OAS, go on to check that every page has been completed. You will be surprised how often students make such a mistake. Then, if time permits, go on to check for other careless mistakes like calculation mistakes, misreading and transfer errors. For methods to check for careless mistakes, please check out my Instagram page found in the description below or WhatsApp me by sending me your name and best email and I will personally send you my how to avoid the top 10 careless mistakes ebook. If you found this video useful, remember to subscribe to watch my other videos created to help parents like you motivate your children to excel and share this with your friends who need help motivating their children to excel. I also have an IG channel found in the description below with tons of stuff to help you in your parenting journey. And finally, if you are serious about transforming your child's interest in maths, call or WhatsApp me at the number found in the description below to have a chat with me about helping your child to score and excel while studying less. I'll see you again.